Hi there. I'm Tracy Carruthers, your executive coach to a leadership state of mind. Here's a clue you can use to access clear, effective thinking. Operating a business from a foundation of principle is not only good for business, it establishes a common code, a common understanding that serves as a litmus test for every decision at every level. Leadership at every level is also based on principles, standards that we employ to become even more effective in communicating and achieving our goals. The second principle of leadership is learning and discovery. It stems from an understanding of consciousness. Consciousness is our awareness, our level of understanding of life. The first thing that we need to be aware of is we are creating our experience of life. The stuff that happens in our life is not happening to us. We create every scenario. For instance, when I arrive late at the airport and the security line is long and slow and the TSA screening machine operator is even slower and every first time flyer is in my screening line and the gate is at the very end of the concourse, when I finally arrive at the gate out of breath and just in time, I might be tempted to think, why does this always happen to me? Of course, it only happens to me when I'm late. My thinking about how much time I have to sleep in, to get ready and to check my bags, that's the real culprit. I set myself up for either plenty of time or late arrival frustration based on how I think about how much time it will take for stuff I need to do before I even leave home for the airport. Okay, coach, you may be thinking, but what about catastrophic illness or things beyond my control? Do I also create that? No, of course not but you do create your experience of that. How you think about the things that happen in life determines your experience of life. A catastrophic illness requires that you learn more about the illness, discover more about your body's reaction to it, possible treatments or family history implications and options and maybe even short-term solutions. You begin to discover what you're made of, who you can go to for help. You become more conscious of your innate capacity for resilience and perseverance. Now you can also choose to ignore your circumstance and dwell in a distracted state of mind, unaware that you are creating an experience filled with despair. The degree to which we are aware that we are the creator of our experience of life is an indication of our level of consciousness. As our level of awareness grows, we are called to a life of learning and discovery. Every moment of every day presents an opportunity to learn and grow. So what have you learned today? Thanks for listening. Until next month, remember, learning and discovery is a matter of principle. Try living a more conscious life, aware of your part in the experience, and take a little time out to celebrate all that you discover. More clues are waiting for you exclusively. Take care.